Hey everybody, today I want to show you the Linux Ubuntu install that I have running on top of VMware on my uh, Mac Studio M2. And But first, I want to show you all how to install VMware Fusion and the download of Ubuntu to uh, run on top of it, getting the ISO. Here is VMware Fusion, already on the site. And you would install it from this page right here. And I've, I'll have all the links in the um, description below. So you go here and accept your cookies and then you would create an account it's all free or log in if you already have one and now let's go get the um, Ubuntu uh, ISO Ubuntu, not Ubuntu. Oh, here it is. Yeah. And I'll provide this link in the description as well. So you would download this um, image. It's the ARM 8 slash Arch 64 desktop image. And then you would go to your Ubuntu and you would go make sure to go um, in settings and then Is it not in settings? I'm sorry. Okay. Um, let's go to. Where am I going? To open. Open. No, this isn't. Virtual machine, I think, is the right. Uh. And it's already starting up. And there it is. I accidentally started it up. Cancel. You go to settings here. And then go to uh, C is, is it CD. I think it may be here. Yeah, go to CD DVD drive and then load the, um, the ISO from here to get it to run properly. Okay, yeah, and I'm, by the way, I'm doing this video because I'm about to erase this um, drive that I have this virtual machine on and um, install Linux on a bare metal Mac. Okay, so that's, um, how uh, you get to this point once it's all, once it runs you through the setup process. And then I click, because I want to enter the password.
And I enter my password here, and voila. You can see that I'm now um, And I don't know why this happened. I'm going to say don't send. Let's see if it runs. Okay. So as you can see here, I have Firefox. And let's see if Firefox runs. And bam. Here we go. And we're on Firefox and we can go to apple.com. Voila, you're on uh, apple.com. as if you're on a Mac, and it's a bit slower, but that's what uh, Firefox looks like on Linux. What is this folder here? I don't know why that is doing that. But that's a Firefox. And on the on Ubuntu, to close this window, I would go here on the right side. Or on my Mac keyboard, I would hit Command W. Or I thought I would. Now let's try it. Command W, yeah, it closes it. And I can take a look at some other apps. Here are my files. Obviously, I have nothing here. Empty. Um, do I have any downloads? Nope. So this is the file structure. It's pretty similar. I want to show you where all the apps are. To see all the apps, I'm going to expand it to full screen so that it moves the menu that's down here, hidden. You can actually press it still. And then here are some of the apps that I have. I have settings. A calculator, software uh, updates, startup applications, the terminal. Here's how the terminal looks. If you want to use Linux, you have to get used to the terminal and terminal commands. Here's um, Terminal, few terminal commands that I know. PWD tells you where you're at. Logimap virtual machine. LS gives you the all the documents that you have. Um, now to get this menu up down here to pull up, I have to go into full screen. And there it is. And click it. And let's see what what other um, applications I have. Here's a text editor. And type. My name is A B. And then I can go, let's see if I can save it. Save it on the desktop. I'm going to save it as AB test.
There. Saved it. Says A B test. I'm gonna close it now. Let's see where it is. It didn't save on the desktop, which is weird. Oh yeah, here it is. I thought it would for sure be saved right here on the desktop. Does it not save on the desktop? Oh, it does. But by default, it saves in this home folder. That's what happened, okay. But I can also drag it to be in the documents. And if I open this now, here it is. And I can make it list as a grid or column view. So um, detail type created. And these are the elements that you've all seen on the Mac. Anyway, that's how you would install Ubuntu on top of VM, VMware and run it on your M2 Mac. All right, guys. And here, oh, let's try to shut it down to, so I can show you the whole process. So I go up here, too uh, so far, here, right here. Power off, log out, and then go to power off. And hit yes. Now I'm gonna go back up here. Now you're in the VMware as an application, and then close VMware. Boom. And now you're right back into your Mac system. So it's pretty awesome in that way. Um, all right, guys. Well, that's all I have for today. Uh, for this video, um, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below, and share it with people who might enjoy seeing this, seeing Linux run on, um, virtual machine VMware and with that I'll see you all in the next video oh and let me know what other automation um, types of videos you'd like to see also in the comments below all right guys I'll see you all in the next video